Hello guys, Rush here with a new Redstone Minecraft video. Today what I have for you is um, an automatic wheat farm, bread maker, whatever you want to call it. Now, to, now the difference between mine and the ones on YouTube is that mine is completely clockless. There's no annoying redstone clock that is needed uh, to be used and all of that good stuff. I believe this is the first one on YouTube, but if I'm wrong, then please do correct me. But anyway, let's get on to how this works. So we're in this um, tiny room, and that is because we must uh, close the room, make sure that it is completely dark in here. Our light down there is our only light source. So how it works is basically put in wheat and uh, put in seed, and then it turns it into wheat automatically let me actually turn down the volume for you guys like that and I can also hold it down and it will keep on producing wheat for me I'll turn down the volume a little bit more works with potatoes and carrots also so if I put down a carrot then we constantly get carrots all done without using a clock. So let's get on to how this works. Okay, uh, now on to how we build this. Let's start off by making the light. Okay, now the, uh, the light is 100% optional. It's optional, you don't have to have it in here, but it's a nice addition to uh, the farm or uh, maker. So what you do is you dig uh, one, two, three, four spaces down. Okay, now you're gonna place water one down from here okay so you should have two blocks of water um, and then at the bottom you place glowstone now what this does is the water limits the light from coming through so it's the perfect amount of uh, light inside the room that will not affect uh, the growing of the wheat so from there uh, we put glass here and why did I get rid of that glowstone we're gonna need that later on now from here, uh, you place, you're going to want to place half slabs around the room. That way you don't get monsters and mobs spawn, spawning inside the room. And that's how you build the light. Next, you're going to have a dirt block right there. Um, around that dirt block, you're going to have blocks of your choices around here. You're going to have water right there. And then you can get rid of the water now, the half slab. Because next, uh, you are going to need to get out... A hoe just hoe that dirt hoe it down and then from there um, you're gonna start placing your dispensers just quickly change it to day dispenser that is good now you're gonna place one right there one right there one right there we're gonna fill those up with bone meal too so one two three just fill it up like that. Okay. Now, after you have done this, we are going to create the block update detector. So you're going to need uh, one sticky piston and one regular piston. And you can get rid of the dirt now. Now, sticky piston on bottom, you're going to have a block of your choice. And then um, redstone, block of redstone, because when we update this piston it's going to cause it to move up okay now that's when we place this right there the regular piston from here we're going to have peter sticking out twice okay and then or uh, a repeater here set to two ticks sorry and then a block right there so now every time we push um, or update the piston it resets back very nice Next, um, from here, uh, we, you can actually remove that block here because we are actually going to extend this out twice and you're going to need um, glowstone right there because it, if this was just a regular solid block, then it would start messing with this dispenser right here, which we don't need. So extend that out, torch, um, and then redstone right there extend this out here and then you're gonna have redstone right there block block and then make a line right here repeater right here set to three ticks and 
extend that out okay so once again it's going to be this line that's going to update this uh, wheat right here causing it to pop off and this actually can be on um, any side you want this line right here okay so that is it I believe yeah, so then from here, what you want to do is you just want to seal up the room so it's completely dark. Okay, oh, and uh, one more thing. You're going to have, you're going to need a block right here. That way it will not let any light in right here. Close this up and it is completely dark in here. Now get out your seed and bam. You just made a clockless uh, bread maker, weed farm, whatever you want to call it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you like videos like this, then be sure to check out my channel. And yeah, so I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.